So I got a request on the video where I talked about my little uh, makeshift deburring tool to help get in the, the notches between the rib flanges. Got a request to actually show how I made this thing. So I'm going to try to uh, redo it and uh, film it. All right, so I'm going to try to duplicate this. So I've got a one inch, you know, a roll of one inch wide Gorilla Tape. Uh, there's nothing sacred about it needing to be Gorilla Tape. It just needs to be, you know, I just wanted something that was a thick, sticky, duct tape-like tape, and uh, it didn't need to be any wider than, uh, you know, an inch. And the duct tape I had laying around was wider than that. So uh, this is what I grabbed. Uh, so you just want to roll this up. And I honestly don't remember if I found a trick to getting it started. So I do remember putting it on the edge of the table and, you know, rolling it over. Obviously getting it started is the, the trick. And, you know, again, the idea is to make a, a soft tube. <laughs> Uh, it helps that it's sticky on the outside because then the, the sandpaper sticks to it. Uh, but, you know, you could probably do this with, I'm sure you could do this with, you know, some tubing. If, if I had had a piece of tubing, my original thought was I, I was rummaging around down here looking for a piece of tubing that was the right diameter. But, you know, any kind of like fuel tubing or anything like that that I had was, was too big around. Uh, so, and I actually think that this is maybe a little bigger around than the original one. Nope, that's about right. So there you go. So then I just took this, uh, put, you know, I had a piece of scrap cardboard. <laughs> this is from the sandpaper packaging uh, that I was using to, you know, as a backer around it, you know, on, on the sandpaper anyway. And uh, I guess I would cut this off a little shorter. And then, you know, I just sort of stuck this on the end of the cardboard uh, and you know, it'll stay put. And then wrap the sandpaper around it. Um, and again, because it's sticky, uh, the sandpaper will stay put. In fact, the best thing to do is to get the sandpaper tight around it first. And then slip the cardboard in there. So there you go. Uh, the idea being... You know, this provides sort of a, a cushioned, but, uh, you know, radiused uh, backing for the sandpaper to get down in that notch. And it, it looks a little big right now, to be perfectly honest. But once it, you know, it kind of slots in there, you just give it a pull. And, you know, when I did it, I, I kind of went, uh, you know, with a slight angle one way and a slight angle the other. And then I came back in with... Um, scotch bright. If you make the cardboard thick enough, which I don't think this piece of scrap is, but maybe one more layer and it it makes the sides so that they deburr this, you know, the straight areas too. So I don't know. I thought that worked pretty well. And, you know, then I came back and of course taped it. Yeah, that's four layers in there. So you know, I came back and taped it together with masking tape once I was done. But I think most of, most of when I was doing it, I just had it like this. Cause again, the the sticky, the sticky side of the tape is nice to keep the sandpaper on there tight. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, probably like 10 better ways to do this than that. And anyone who wants to offer up a, a better suggestion, I'm, I'm all ears.